All right, so I've got my some walls in for the first floor, uh, some representations of doors and windows. I think it's time to put some stairs in. Um, I have put in a cube as kind of a reference point for where the stairs are going to start and end. So let's get that queued up. All right. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to tab into edit mode on the cube. I'm going to go to edge select mode. I'll click that back edge, which is approximately where I want the stairs to be starting. Uh, I will right click and subdivide. Go back into vertex mode and select that middle vertex. That being the case, I can now shift S and I can move the cursor to the selected spot. Okay, not worried about the cube anymore, so I'm going to tab out of there. And I think now the next step is to add some stairs. So I've got my stairs window here. Uh, I've got a dozen stairs. By default, I think it starts with three, but... Um, a dozen seems to be about the number I'm looking for. That seems to get me pretty close to the mark. So I'm going to, and and even the standard uh, width, depth, and so forth seem to be pretty close to what I want. So I'm just going to go with that and call it good. Uh, I think I'll, I'll hide the cube for now. No, I'll just delete it. It's not hard to put a cube back in later if I need one. And then if I look, there seems to be a landing here. So... I'm going to go to my top view. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Maybe I'll grab those stairs and I will um, grab them and move them back a bit. I will scale them on X a bit. Make them... Grab them and move them over a touch more. I'll call that okay for now. I'm going to tab into this. And I'm going to extend these stairs. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, actually, let's move this over a bit. And I'm going to go into x-ray mode. I'm going to box select these items and let's just go to the top view actually seven and let's extrude and we have ourselves a landing okay 